What's going on there, guys? It is the Earthmaster here on this uh, Friday evening, November 5th, 2021, about 8, 18 p.m. California time. And looking at the latest map here on the USGS, shows quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up along the west coast, California, uh, southward and northward off the coast of Oregon. I've seen a little bit of movement around the Gold Beach area, well off to the coast of Gold Beach, out around the Gorda Ridges, seen in 2.9. Also a little bit of deep earthquake activity south of Eureka around Petrolia, a 2.5 at 20 kilometers. And looking up and down the state here, this is a 2.5 map and above. Shows some activity around the Ridgecrest area. Earlier this morning, they had a 3.4, which was felt by a few people within this uh, region of, of California. Also off the coast of Southern California, a 3.1 around the San Diego or San Clemente. Is that how you say that? San Clemente Island. A fault zone out there in the Pacific, well off the coast of San Diego, an Oceanside area, 3.1 kilometers. And also some movement in the Gulf of California. A couple of earthquakes kicking off out here along the plate boundaries um, over the last 24 hours. Let's go ahead and check out the all magnitudes here real quick on the uh, into the United States. Show some activity. Pretty much confined to the Intermountain West, stretching through Nevada and the Sierra Nevadas. Just seen a whole swarm of activity through Utah and into uh, portions of Nevada. Look at all that movement uh, around the Mount Whitney area to the northeast. Just some sporadic microquakes around the vicinity of uh, Tonopah and areas to the south as well. Ridgecrest, as I mentioned, seen some movement this morning with the 3.4. Since then, they've had a little bit of microquake uh, activity. Uh, I should say, uh, I can't really say aftershock activity, but uh, this movement here where we've seen the 3.4, looking at some... Uh, aftershock sequences over the last hour a 1.0 little microquake right smack dab on the garlock fault structure looks like uh that followed a, a little query blast out there roughly uh, looks like that's actually right <laughs> right along the garlock fault structure as well but overall that looks like general light activity south of this region we are seeing some uh, continued microquakes in the San Jacinto Fault area, but overall things kind of mellow. Once again, Garlock Fault structure southward, no major swarming or any type of uh, movement around the Salton Sea area. Much further south into the Gulf of California, we did see some fours kick off, 4.6 and also 4.3 um, in the uh, Gulf of California region. Out here in the Oklahoma region, looks like uh, 2.2 near Perry, Oklahoma. Overall, just general microquake activity in that vicinity as well. Pecos, Texas area, seeing a ramp up of some twos. The New Madrid area, pretty quiet, and a little microquake in the Sparta, North Carolina area, 10 kilometers for that earthquake today. Uh, some movement up around the Fairbanks area. We did see, let me see if I can keep my voice going here. <clears throat> you may have to take over there, Missy Mimi's. <laughs> um, yeah, just, I don't know why. It's, I think it's a change of weather. Who knows? Anyway, three point, what do we have up here around the Fairbanks area that was felt broadly around the region? It looks like a 4.0. 4.0 kicked off earlier today. Uh, 3.4 Four, prior to that. So some foreshock looks like maybe. Yeah, a little foreshock yeah, that foreshock. may have took place there a few minutes or i should say a couple seconds yeah. prior to the uh, 4.0 once again this just outside of fairbanks fairbanks sits up here to the north about 25 miles or so it was definitely broadly felt uh within the region it was a pretty shallow earthquake you see uh, general movement up here on the historical map shows uh, no doubt some activity Around the Fairbanks, they do get some pretty large ones as well, including the key here that can show uh, show the magnitudes. Looks like six to seven magnitude earthquake um, in recent times. So not unusual to see some activity around the Fairbanks area. Of course, some general microquakes through the Anchorage area southward towards the Aleutian Islands. And uh, we did see some further activity in this area that we've been watching for a while. It's pretty quiet, or it has been pretty quiet for months now. Uh, looking at some deeper movement on the northern part of the uh, Creole Trench. Uh, looks like uh, quite a few fours. Uh, upper 
this activity into the uh, subduction zone looks like 77 to 34 kilometers deep uh, off the coast of Japan pretty quiet at the moment we did see some uh, further activity let's see if this is the one that's a little shallow earthquake this one right here around the Japan area Good, super deep 343 kilometers deep for that uh, 4.9 some pretty deep activity kicking off there south of uh, Japan or around the Japan area fairly quiet on the western part yeah right looking now. at the Indonesia area is extraordinarily quiet Solomon Islands we did see this little this may even be an older earthquake it uh, looks like from last night early this morning a 4.3 pretty deep earthquake activity so you swap that one out and looking very quiet um, throughout this area Another of the Pacific ring right of there. fire a 2.9 it's kind of odd that they showed this on the map here USGS normally doesn't show these uh these smaller earthquakes um, unless it's the states and territories of the states but uh, 2.9 out in the Australia area uh, 10 kilometers deep south of Melbourne South Sandwich Islands South Sandwich Trench very quiet uh, we've seen just a halt of activity there nothing really kicking off within the last 24 hours some further movement up and down the Peru Chile Trench as we zoom into the South America plate area and see uh, what's this one here 4.2 that one's kind of deep 140 kilometers and most of these other earthquakes relatively shallow uh, although not completely shallow just not as deep as that 140 kilometer deep one uh, Puerto Rico trench looking uh, pretty quiet but the Puerto Rico area itself seeing some swarming once again kicking off southwest area as typical twos and threes far as the magnitudes go uh, this one here is pretty deep 102 kilometers near the Dominic, uh, Dominican Republic 3.5 a ways away from the Puerto Rico swarming area uh, what else we got here Atlantic Ocean looking pretty quiet up and down the mid-Atlantic Ridge Mediterranean Sea and area southward Indian Ocean looking pretty quiet as well we did have a 4.6 near what is that Mozambique Mozambique is that yes. correct I hope that's correct Mozambique. <laughs> or else we'll both get slaughtered <laughs> <laughs> not even, Mozambique uh, yeah 4.6 into the area of um, uh, Africa I'm just kind of losing my my train of thought there overall pretty quiet in this region of the world West Coast seems to be lighting up right now with the activity so we will be keeping an eye on that uh, pretty closely Southern California like I mentioned there aside from the San Jacinto fault area which is relatively quiet this movement off the coast here getting a little interesting um, for sure as we've seen uh, kind of like a uh, a bunch off the coast of Southern California up and down the the, um, the coastline so watching that pretty closely the Yellowstone map Let's see what's going on here in the uh, state of Wyoming looks pretty absent of earthquake activity is this uh, let me double check make sure these are updated 11.5 yep these are it and just not a whole lot going on folks in the Yellowstone area in fact the trimmer area or the trimmer in the Cascadia subduction zone extremely quiet as well only 14 epicenters in this area of Oregon at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone space weather looking absolutely quiet as well just looks like a 25 percent chance of a sea flare very minor for any other type of flares uh, as the sun spots looking uh, kind of bleak at the moment uh, some more uh, development looks like on the uh, far side all this activity here on the, uh, this area of the Sun will be facing us here pretty soon within the next few days we'll get a better look of activity as that becomes visible uh, but for now looking uh, looking pretty bleak and minimal when it comes to geomagnetic storming after a pretty heightened uh, day or so of activity on the KP index scale I guess we've seen some roars down to the Southern California area so all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good night. Get the barbecue up here with Missy Mimi's. And uh, what, do we, what do we have for dinner? What are we having? Yeah. Tri-tip. Some tri-tip. Heck yeah. And uh, just hang out and just enjoy this beautiful Friday evening. We got gypped on the rain, mm -hmm. but we got some more rain coming early next week. But uh, either either way, it's a super nice night. 
uh, maybe have a bonfire and uh, just enjoy some uh, some quiet time and enjoy a beautiful barbecue. A yummy, a beautiful barbecue. A yummy barbecue, I should say. All right, guys, have a good night out there. Live stream is coming up here very soon. Having some issues with the uh, the computer, but uh, I'm working on it. I updated the system to uh, Windows 11, and I'm not for sure if that's giving me the issues or not, or if it's just bleeding over from the prior issues with Windows 10. With Windows 10, so we'll see. We'll see if we can get this thing figured out. Either way, live stream will be back up here shortly. Have a good night, guys. We'll chat you a little bit later. Stay safe out there, guys. Peace out.